A derivative is a financial security. It is a contract between two or more parties. Yes, our today's topic is derivative. It is the important topic in the net JRF exam of management subject code 17. It is the part of unit 5 and it is also useful for all the graduate and postgraduate courses of commerce and management. Good morning everyone. I hope you all are well and doing your studies at your home. So let's start with the topic. Derivatives. Derivative is a financial instrument whose value is derived from an underlying asset. Underlying asset can be equity, debentures, bonds, commodities, forex or any other asset. Let's say example when two parties are making the contract with each other then that contract is called derivative and the underlying asset can be equity, bonds, debentures, gold, forex, anything. The major financial derivative products are forwards, futures, options and swap. Derivative is a tool or an instrument for betting. In this lecture, we will study forwards, futures and swap. I hope it is clear what is underlying asset and what are the derivatives. Now I will explain derivative with the help of example. Say one person is A and another person is B. When person A signs the contract with the stock exchange, then he will get the right to buy or sell any underlying asset at a specific price on the future date. And person B has the obligation to sell or buy that particular asset to the stock exchange. So person B has the obligation and person A has the right. That specific price is called exercise price and person A will give some amount to the stock exchange that amount is called premium and that premium will be transferred to the person B. So this contract is called derivative and for example person A wants to buy the share of company A at rupees 500 on 10th January at rupees 500 on 10th January 21 then this price is called strike price or exercise price and the underlying asset will be the share of that particular company so this is the future price this is the exercise price this is the premium and that contract is called derivative. Person A has the right whereas person B has the obligation. But person A has the right but no obligation. So this is derivative. I hope now it is clear to everyone that what do you mean by derivative. Now, basically there are four types of derivatives. Forwards, futures, options and swap. In this video, we will discuss upon forward, futures and swaps. And for the option, I will make separate video. What is forward? Forward is a contract between two parties to buy or sell an asset on a specified date for a specified price. These forwards are not traded on the stock exchange. It is mostly used for the Hedging purpose means we are insuring ourselves against the fluctuation in the prices. For example, if you are a farmer and you are producing a cotton and you know that the prices are volatile, what you will do? You will enter into a forward contract with the Akash and you will sell 50 kg of cotton to Akash at rupees 25 per kg on 10th January 2021. This contract will hedge the farmer against the possible decline in the prices. Similarly, it is beneficial to Akash also 
because akash also thinks that the prices of the cotton will get increase more than rupees 25 on the 10th january so for a contract to make sense it is must that both parties will be benefited and no one will get incur loss so this is called forward in forward there is no role of stock exchange it is not a standardized agreement for example if there are two person person a and person b they both know each other and they do the betting that the prices of the gold will increase in the future then what will happen they will enter into a contract but there is no role of stock exchange and whoever will win the other party will give the money to that party so this is called forward now we will study futures futures are similar to the forward future are the standardized agreement to buy or sell an asset in the future at a predetermined price they are traded on the stock exchange the value of the futures depend on the prices of the underlying asset that can be any share bonds sen nifty gold or any other asset so futures can be used for hedging or the speculation what is speculation speculation is a means for buying and selling an asset with the hope of making profit it is a short term trading so for example here the person a and person b both person don't know each other but they also said that the price of the gold will increase in the future then what will happen they will enter into contract with the stock exchange so here there is a role of stock exchange between the two person so this is called futures so forward and future are same but forwards are not traded in the stock exchange whereas futures are traded in the stock exchange because they are the standardized agreement between the two parties so this is all about forwards and future now we will study third point that is swap swaps are also financial derivatives in swap there is a contract between two parties that they will exchange their cash flow for a period of time each stream of cash flow is called leg so th these are the two important point that they will exchange their future cash flows and each cash flow is called leg swaps are also not traded in the stock exchange just like forwards but they are traded in the over the counter here the counter parties are mainly companies and financial organization individuals do not participate in the swap swaps are used to hedge the risk of different kinds it may be interest rate risk or currency risk now i will explain the swap with the help of an example there are two organization organization a and organization b organization a lives in the state a and organization b lives in the state b in state a cotton cost is 10 rupees per kg and onion cost 100 rupees per kg similarly in state b onion has the cost of rupees 10 per kg and cotton cost rupees 100 per kg organization a want onions and organization b wants cotton but at the lower prices then what will happen there is a person called intermediary what he or he, it will do that intermediary will say that you will buy cotton and to be has to buy the onion now intermediary will take cotton from the organization a and onion from the organization b and will give onions to the organization a and cotton to the organization b at the lower prices and this organization has to give some amount to the intermediary let's say the organization b will give 5 rupees and organization a will also give 5 rupees so intermediary will get 10 rupees and organization a will get onions in 15 rupees 
and organization B will get cotton in 15 rupees. So all parties are benefited. Means it is an exchange. This is called swap. Now swaps are of two types. Basically first is interest rate swap and other is the currency swap. What is interest rate swap? When counterparties agrees to exchange one stream of future interest payment for the another based on the predetermined notional principal amount. Generally, interest rate swaps involve the exchange of fixed interest rate with the floating interest rate. For example, Bank A will give loan to Organization A at fixed interest rate. And bank B give loan to organization B at floating interest rate. When they will exchange their interest rates with each other, then it is called exchange of interest rate. Means interest rate swaps. This is called interest rate swap. Now, what is currency swap? In currency swap, Counterparties exchange the principal amount and interest payment denominator in different currencies. Means it is a contract between two currencies for an equal amount. But in the interest rate, the currencies are same. Whereas in currency swap, this contract takes place between two different currencies for the same amount. So these contract swaps are often used to hedge and another investment position against currency exchange rate fluctuation. So currency swap is basically used to hedge the risk against the fluctuations in the exchange rates of the currencies. So they will exchange the currencies with each other. So this is all about swaps, forwards and future. In my next video, I am going to tell you what are options and what are the different types of options. If you are new to this channel, kindly like, share and subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that whenever I will make the new video, you will get the notification. Thank you so much for today. Have a nice day.